if you have an irregular shape object. For example, you have an irregular shape lamina like this. This is irregular shape lamina. We are going to find out the center of gravity of irregular shape, this type of object. We are going to find out the center of gravity of a plane lamina. Okay, here you can see that I have a stand. I have a cork like this, a needle type thing or nail is here. Okay, what I am going to do, uh, this is a stand and this is a needle like thing or nail. This is a pendulum bob. You can also use a plumb line. Basically, we uh, use normally the plumb line. Plumb line is an instrument which is used by the masons while constructing the walls. I think so you might have observed that plumb line. Plumb line is the instrument like this, a way it is suspended like this. This is called plumb line. Normally the masons use while constructing the walls and they want to see that whether their wall is going vertical or not. So see the vertical level of their wall, they use this plumb line. So here basically there must be a weight which is suspended with the thread, okay. So here I have this ball, uh, uh, metal ball which I am using as a plumb line, okay. I have this irregular shape object, okay. We don't know that where is the center of gravity because we know that if you have a irregular shape object, you can find out the center of gravity very easily. But here in this case, if you are going to find out the center of gravity, this irregular shape lamina, the cork and the nail, I am inserting this, it like this. You can also use any nail in the wall, etc, etc. You can also do it like this. But please do not uh, leave the nail inserted in the wall because it may injure any person. First of all, you will have to make any hole near the edges. It's very important to understand that any hole, you have to make a, a hole anywhere near the edges. Anywhere, what are the my wording? Anywhere near the edges, okay? So here, I am going to make a hole with the help of this nail or this whatever it is like this. This hole must be uh, sufficiently loose so that this mod body must be moving freely like this. It must be suspending freely like this, okay. There must be minimum friction. The, there must be least friction between these two. It must be moving like this, okay. So for the sake of I am making like this. Must be freely suspending, okay. You can see that I have made the hole like this, that it must be suspending like freely, okay. Minimum friction must be there between the hole. This, I am suspending this weight here, like this. What I did, I make any hole near the edges, anywhere near the edges. It is very important. Some student may ask, yes? Yes, anywhere, anywhere near the edges. I am using the word anywhere near the edges, not in between. Okay, so you will have to make a hole and then you will have to uh, suspend this plumb line like this. Now what you are going to do, you have to wait that it must stop moving. It must not be moving like this. Then you will have to see it from here like this. Okay, you will have to look it from here to mark the position of the thread. But because I just want to show you, that's why I'm, I'm using because like this. To, to remove the parallax side, you will have to see from the front, okay? Uh, from the front, you will have to see. Do you, you don't have to see from the sides. You don't have to see it from the side. If you will see it from the side, you won't be able to find out the exact location of that point where the thread is coming exactly over the card, exactly over the card, okay? So that's why you will have to keep your position like this to find out the exact location. This card must be uh, facing you, exactly facing you. In this way, you will be able to find out the center of gravity very easily. Okay, this is the first. Do you follow this step? Now what you are going to do, you will have to take it off, uh, off. This also, take it off from here. And then what you are going to do? What you are going to do basically? Uh, this is the hole which you inserted, this is the hole. I'm naming it at like, like hole A. And this is the uh, mark which I marked it, where the thread was touching at the edges. Now what you are going to do, you are going to Join these two points. By joining these two points, you will get a straight line like this. You will get a straight line like this. Okay? You will get the straight line like this. Now, yes, now repeat the same with any 
uh, and another hole anywhere, anywhere near the edges. I'm using the same wording. Anywhere near the edges, I'm making another hole like uh, I'm taking here. What, it's okay? I'm taking it here. Anywhere near the edges of this card, near the edges. It is very important to take near the edges. Okay. It must be loose hole. It must not be tight so that to minimize the friction, it must be a loose hole. To minimize the friction, it must be a loose hole. The, the direction of this nail must be horizontal. Try that the direction of this nail must be horizontal. So that is when you suspending very... Um, is it suspending freely? Okay. Now, another very important precaution which you must take that this thread must not touch. This thread must not touch the cardboard, this lamina. This thread must not touch the lamina. And now you will have to see that whether it is stopping. Now, when it is stopping, you will have to see not from the sides. You will have to look at uh, from the front and then you will have to mark another point. Now, you will have to observe that whether it is marked correctly or not. Okay, you can see that. Okay, now again the same procedure will be repeated. I am repeating the same procedure. Uh, it must be repeated at least thrice. I am naming this hole as B, B hole. Now you can see that while while drawing two lines, I am getting pointers, but but for the sake of uh, accuracy you must have take another point, okay? Two points are not sufficient. You can take any other point like uh, am I, I, I am going to take any point here, okay? At least three. It is better to take three. Three is sufficient because the third point will be the decisive point because third line will be the decisive line which will decide that whether these two lines because you know, know that if you are drawing two lines on a piece of paper, they may intersect anywhere, okay? So third line will be the decisive line which must pass through the intersection of these two lines. The third line will be the decisive line to uh, clear the center of gravity of this body. That line will be passing through the intersection of these two previous lines. Now let us see, now this thread will decide in front of you that whether we are correct or not. There must not be a triangle in between. If the triangle, if there is a triangle, it depends upon that triangle is bigger, then your procedure is very wrong. If triangle is smaller, then procedure almost correct. Now I am going to stop it. The precautions, this must not touch the paper. Yes, uh, the thread of the plumb line must not touch the paper or lamina. Another precaution, very important precaution, which I am just going to tell you. Okay, you must use the sharp pencil. You must use the sharp pencil. Okay, so here I am going to draw another point. Here you can see that here, Behind this thread, just behind this thread, I am going to draw another point, okay? I have drawn another point, now I am removing this. Again, the same procedure. I am using a thick marker, but you must use a sharp pencil. To attain the accuracy, you must use the sharp pencil. Now, here you can see that all the three lines are intersecting at the point. Now, all these three lines are intersecting at this point. So this point is basically the center of gravity of this irregular shaped object. Now we have to test it. Now how to test it? How to test it? At this center of gravity, just try to pivot it. Whether we are right or wrong. Look at. If it is tilting, if it is tilting slightly, wherever it is tilting slightly, so it means that is the error. Okay, if that, this will show, you, you can do it like this. Okay, so it means we have almost accurate, we have accurately defined the center of gravity of irregular shape object. These three lines must not make triangle at the center. To attain the accuracy, remember this, these three lines must not make the triangle at the center like this. If you are joining it like this, second and the third is joining like this this triangle triangle at the center there must not be triangle at the center these three lines must be meeting like this like i have shown you at the center there must be a point this will be the maximum accurate result if the smallest point is there then your result will be accurate